Hey everyone, it's Lori Marks Vincent here. I wanted to take this opportunity to encourage you and to challenge your faith at this moment and share a little story with you. I have a friend and her name is Alice. Alice is just four years old. Alice has cerebral palsy and she also is a G-tube feed baby. If you don't know what a G-tube feed baby is, it's basically a little baby from birth who has had to be fed by a tube. So the tube extends from a feed pump that is attached to a bag that contains the food and it feeds through a tube and that tube is inserted into a place in the tummy through the skin by a very special medical procedure. Now Alice has had an interesting event happen in her life. She's not doing too well right now. She's got some bleeding internally, and so she's really hurting right now. And so she needs our prayers. But she also has another situation. A few weeks ago, the family was out on an excursion, and somebody saw the bag that the feed pump was in. And that feed pump is attached to that feed tube that goes into Alice's tummy. I don't know why, but somebody felt it was necessary to pick up that bag and walk away with it. They stole it. So Alice's feed pump has been stolen. Alice is on a special disability. So what's happened is, is that disability only covers the cost of a feed pump every five years. This feed pump is only three years old. And so there's no way to recoup or to gain any kind of financial assistance to get another feed pump. So we're calling on you. We're calling on the church. We're calling on people with good hearts. We're calling on people who believe that it's important to be supportive of one another. You and I, we enjoy, um, you know, going to wherever and grabbing a wonderful meal and, you know, nice restaurant and being able to, you know, pick a burger up with our hands and put it in our mouth where we also enjoy, you know, being able to just go to the kitchen and fix what we want. Uh, you know, Alice isn't able to do that. Alice's food comes in a bag and Alice's food is pumped through a feed pump into a tube that goes into her tummy for her nutrients. And Alice is fed four times a day she's just four years old and so a four-year-old needs her nutrients and she needs to have sustenance through the day and without it she can't survive this is a basic essential of survival the only reason that Alice can move forward is if you and I do something about it that's because we can make a difference for Alice and her family. This family is not just about Alice. There are other children involved. And so the welfare of Alice is very important because everyone in the family is also affected. The best way, the most beneficial, and the safest way for Alice to receive her nutrients on a daily basis is with the help of a feed pump. Currently, Alice's mother is using a syringe to administer the food through the, through the tube. And so I, I pray that you would be moved to even give $5. If everyone on my Facebook page gave $5, this family would have enough to recoup the cost of that feed pump, plus be able to help with diapers and the cost of the feed bags, which of course, by the way, is $7 a day times four. So in a month, we're talking more than $800, again, just for feed bags and diapers, basic essentials, not even the food. Now, thank goodness that the food is covered for in the cost with her disability. Uh, but there are other medical needs that Alice has that are not covered, sadly, by the support of a disability program. So I'm urging you today, you can make a difference. It's because of you and me that Alice will continue to have a good life and the nutrients that she needs with the safety and the benefit of having a feed pump for her food to go efficiently and effectively through the tube into her tummy. So... Would you please join with me and help little four-year-old Alice in her time of need right now get her a feed pump very soon. The cost of a feed pump is somewhere around $1,600 to $1,700. At first, we thought it was only $900, but we've now learned that the price is actually closer to $1,700. So with the money that we raise, 
We're trying to raise about 2200 We'll give Alice's family a little bit extra to be able to help them during this time. Also, I'd like to mention that if you would like to become a monthly donor to be able to help Alice on a regular basis and receive a tax deductible receipt, then we would gladly give you that opportunity. If you just would let us know that you want your donation to go towards Alice's care on a monthly basis, then we're happy to do that. But otherwise, you need to know that the Blessing Fund is a charitable organization through my ministry that actually helps people in times of need that are outside the box from other community resources. So I encourage you today, do something that changes a life that's outside the box, something that is not just the normal everyday stuff, something that is just going to change a life for the better because there's no other help. Isn't it great to know that you were on the other end when there was no other recourse? So I'm encouraging you today, help Alice get a feed pump very, very soon. Please don't delay. Even $5 today is going to make a difference from everyone who supports Alice's need today. Thank you for joining me and God bless you. Bye-bye.